Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is day 12 of our Brewer's Advent calendar, and we are going to be drinking the Teisnaka Untausendreinfutzi Festmarzen from the Etelbräu out of Teisnach, Germany. Cheers, mates. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are on day 12. I mean, half after this one, I guess we'll be halfway done with our Brewers Advent Calendar 2022 uh, leading up to December 24th. Uh, definitely appreciate you guys checking out this video and just know that we've got another one coming out tomorrow as well. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to check us out on social media. Links are below in the description as well as come say hey in Discord. We'd love to uh, have you jump in and, and say hey to us. Uh, also, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Uh, that would mean the world to us, and we uh, would really appreciate it. Um, I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. What are we drinking today that is in German? Andrew, y'all don't want to y'all don't want to try this. Andrew, one? <laughs> we would no, say I'm trying to get it down, y'all. But Taisnaha, uh, we'd say 1543, but I don't know how they say the years, so I tried to do the in thousand five hundred trying footsie Festmarten out of uh, Ethelbroy, the brewery of Taisnach, Germany or Deutschland. It's a Martin beer. Let's hurry up and drink it so I can forget about my botching of. German language. I apologize to anybody from Germany. Maybe your German will get better with the more beer you drink. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, this is a lighter Matson. Kind of hazy, though. Man, I'm intrigued. It's interesting. This is uh, the second Matson in a row <laughs> that we've been like, oh, it's less of uh, that amber copper color. Yeah. Looks more like the fest beer, and it actually it, it looks like on the can it says a fest marzen. Oh, right. maybe so. Maybe it's a cross. <laughs> yeah, or maybe that means fest beer in German. I don't yeah. know. Nah, they would say fest beer. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Um, but I mean, it's classified as a marzen. All right, y'all. Oh, cheers. cheers Look at that. One, two, three. We did it. Yeah. Did we do we it? We did it. <laughs> All right. How about that? <clears throat> cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lighter taste. Yeah, or, it's coming maybe... across like that hybrid, like we talked about the last one. Mm -hmm. yeah, what was that? The last one we had was uh, Matson. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's not on this page. I'd have to go search it back. Yeah. After 12 was, days now, I'm like, I can't remember which is which. 12 mm. days of German beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, gaining weight, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. If only we had the brats and uh, pretzels and mustard and all to go with this. It'd been great. Yeah, I don't want to see you in any leader hosen. Really? I think I'd look downright sexy in it. <laughs> uh, this one is 5.2%, 20 IBUs. And it is, it was brewed to celebrate the 475th anniversary of the brewery. Interesting. Wow. So I'm wondering when, if the brewery. So when was that? I'm I'm wondering if the year of the brewery founding is 1543 because it's got the Roman numerals right there as well. So, so what year would that be? Well, 50. you know, that would have been 2018. Yeah, maybe the when they first started making okay. this. Yeah, is it didn't that, say uh, which year. I mean, I don't know that I remember my Roman numeral count either. MDXL. Yep, that is. Yeah. 
D is 500. Eight. M is 1,000. D is 500. And then you've got the L. L is 50. 50. So the XL is B10 after, you know, go for Cool. This is what our viewers tune in to. <laughs> and they correct this. Is, this. Our viewer. Yeah. <laughs> tune in to learn something. <laughs> Come on, Matt. You can correct us. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. hoping maybe somebody <laughs> who can speak some these next these 12 days, these whole 24 days can uh, help write the ship on some of the, the German horrible pronunciations that we're doing. And if we get anything wrong on our translations. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's a German beer review show somewhere on YouTube where they're pronouncing all the American stuff wrong. You know, I mean, oh, yeah. it's got to be, you know, make a little ultra. Them. Yeah. Well, our uh, our language, the English language, is just horrible because we have too many. We just blow our rules out of the water, you know. Oh, where every other language has a rule of how you pronounce and do things. English language, no. Yeah. See these rules? This word, we're gonna say it this way and mean it this way. Yeah. I before Absolutely. you, except after C. Yeah, except for you know, weird there. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, any more information on the 1543 here? No. All right. Well, let's run around and rate this one. Uh, Jay's first. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Caught out. Calling me out, huh? I don't know. Just, just glad it wasn't me. <laughs> no, you went first last time. I did go first yesterday. Yep. Um, you know, this is an interesting one. Uh, kind of that cross between the Fest beer and Marzen. Um, very cloudy, hazy. Uh, you know, I was kind of surprised to see that much. And like you guys said, not quite the amber that we're used to seeing. Um, it's very light and easy. Um, almost to um, a bland. I don't want to say necessarily bland, but it it's, doesn't have a whole captivating flavor to me like I, yeah. I'm used to with some of the others. So I think I'm going to rate this one uh, a six and a half. So you go into it thinking, hey, here's a Martin, and and then you get just that lighter flavor, yeah. and it's it leaves you wanting a little more. It's, it does. it's the way I interpret what you said, and tell me if I'm wrong there. You, you can be my interpreter any day, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'll hop in there. I, I think that, you know, I definitely see where, where you're coming from there for sure. I mean, you know. Um, Wanting for more. Yeah. And, and we talked about this, I think, on the on the last, you know, Martin that we had in this box that uh, definitely was kind of similar. It was just that little bit lighter, lighter color, lighter taste. Um, and you know it, it it's you know if you've had a fast beer and you've had a mars and this seems to be somewhere in between um which to me isn't necessarily a, a bad thing because i like both um so i'm gonna like this even though it's you know listed as a mars on the can and, and and we've we've talked about it being that i mean i'm gonna, I'm gonna like this fine because it it, it falls within both and, and i like both um so you know, again, I, I, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think it's I think it's good. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm all the over the place with my thoughts on this. My overall thought is I like it, and I would drink it over and over. But if somebody said, "Hey, here's a Martin," you know, try to drink this, and I'd be like, "Wow, I was not expecting this." But then it makes me think is the Martins that we've been drinking are mostly American Martins. Are they putting too much malts, you know, to get that, are they roasting it too much? We're getting that heavy, that caramel kind of appeal to it versus maybe the more traditional Martins. It's not quite as that sugary malty flavor. But let me, let me ask you if someone put this just in front of you, didn't tell you what it was. What would you say this this is? Uh, 
I would say, geez. It's, it's a tough uh, one, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's, it's my it's, first thing would probably be like a Kolsch, maybe. Um, I don't know, you know, um, but it's like I, the last I one we had, it's like that. a hybrid. It's, it's in between. Yeah. It's like a Fespier Martzen hybrid to me, like that last one we had. But it's not bad. It's good. So maybe it's think it's okay. The Martins that we've been fed from these, you know, these seasonal year round specialty beers from the States. It's like, are they doing a little too overboard? You know, I, I need to drink more German, traditional German Martins from Germany to see, to compare. But well, we've good. had a couple of those. I mean, haven't we? Well, I know I have. I mean, but I think, I think we've had one or two of those. We well, haven't had any within the show, no. <clears throat> but, okay. I don't think so. Um, I, I uh, like. Yeah, to, we've we've had a Martin, not a German though, not not a traditional. German. Yeah, 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 we've had one I mean, before this one. Other than the calendar, I know I had one for no, other than the calendar. I, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we've got some. We've got some. We could be drinking, don't we? In the uh, yeah, don't we have something. something coming up. There's there's a couple in the inventory. There's a, yeah. I know there's a fest beer. Um, and then there's some more American. Yeah. So yeah. that said, I mean, it's good. But again, if you gave this to me and said, figure it out, I'm like, Martin would not be the first thing that came to mind. You know, if I the drink enough, I'm like, yeah, I can pick out some of that, that overtones, but I mean, I like it. So I'm going to, I'm going to drink it again. So I'm going to give it a seven. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to think that if you asked me that same question and it was, you know, the time of year, you know, the fallish, you know, getting into that, that I, I think I would probably say fest beer, you know, yeah. at least I'd like to think I would. I'd probably lean more towards that than I would, you know, the Marsons yeah. based on what we've had. And, um, you know, I, I'm all about a fest beer too. I mean, that that's. Yeah, that, I can that, understand those are great. that. I, it's just yep. an interesting question if this was a blind taste test. Uh, honestly, I don't know that I would put it at a Martin or a Fest beer in my top two or three choices of trying to figure it out. Yeah. I, I think probably, I need to drink more. Yeah. I'd probably <laughs> say like stout or something. You know, I'd just be completely wrong. <laughs> well, you know, we only we only get Martins through this this short period through the year. Right, right. You don't get to try it year round because, I mean, somebody gives you an IPA. That's an IPA. You can You can pick that out. So we, we get to, to this short window and um, then the rest of the year, you know, <clears throat> but eight well, months and, out of the year, we're not drinking it. And, and this, you know, Brewer's Advent box has introduced us to so many other types of beer, um, you know, from the Hellas to the Keller beer to um, what was the one that started with the Dortmund. D- the Dortmund. Dortmund. Yeah, yeah exactly. Dortmund. Uh, yeah. Dortmund. Um, so, but I, I do mean, like this one's got depth. And got the haze to it, though. Maybe it's a little yeah. unfil- less f- filtered. So, fun one for sure. Fun one for sure. All right, that will give us a seven for the Tyson Nacher 1543 Fest Marson. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting kind of somewhat middle of a Marson and a fest beer for us, at least as we know them. Um, and we could be definitely proven wrong or told that we're wrong. And, you know, probably wouldn't be the first time, but that's where it comes out for us. Uh, so if you are following us along on our Brewers Advent calendar, be sure to let us know what you think. Also come back tomorrow and check out day number 13 uh, of our calendar here. We would love for you to check out that video. Until then, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on social media. Come say hey in Discord. For Andy in the attic, Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. All downhill from here. <laughs>